Today on All About That Bass, a quick tip for fixing name capitalization. Ben wrote to me a while back and asked about how to take these and make it so they're more properly formatted with just capital letters for the first letter and then lowercase for all the rest. And it's a pretty easy formula for doing that. So I'm gonna make one field here for the first name and then just copy that for the second one. So I'm gonna call this first fixed for right now, make this a formula. So the first thing I wanna do is take that first character and just kind of leave it as it is. So that is gonna be using the left function. So I can just have left function in here, it highlights that function down there. I can hit enter and it puts a cursor right in the middle of that selection so I can start typing what's supposed to be part of that function. So left, I wanna grab the first character. So it's the, the string you wanna grab from and then how many characters you wanna pull from that. So that is the first field. I can pop that in there, put a comma, and then I want just one character. Now that I have that, I want to add the rest of the name. Now, some people might be thinking, I need to know how long the rest of that name is. That's actually not necessary. One of the cool things about some of these fields, especially mid and right, left isn't quite as flexible in this regard, but mid and right, if you give them more characters to grab than are existing in the string, it will just assume whatever it can't find is supposed to be empty. So it'll grab whatever's there and ignore the rest beyond that if the characters don't exist. So I can use the mid function in here. And what I want to grab is the second character to the end. So when I grab first off, the first thing is the string to pull from. So from our first field, I want to grab starting with character two, and then I'm gonna grab 50 characters, assuming nobody has a first name that long. And we should be pretty good to go. But that just grabs the characters as they are. What I really wanna do is force all of those to be lowercase. So around this, I want to wrap the lower function. And with that in place, I can put that around here. And that simply takes everything in here and forces it to be lowercase. So we can check that out and see how that looks. So there we go, we've got everything fixed. And again, it doesn't bother with the fact that there aren't characters past the length of these very uh, different, different lengths of these strings here. Everything's capped off nicely. So that takes care of that. But one more thing I wanna be aware of that I'll possibly check for, not really check for, but kind of be prepared for in case it happens. Let's say for some reason, someone types in everything in lowercase. Well, now we have our lowercase first letter and we don't want that. So what I'm gonna then do in my formula is force the first one to be uppercase. So that first character will always be upper no matter what it happens to be in the original string. Now that way I've got properly formatted names no matter how they come in, all uppercase, all lowercase, some random combination, everything looks good. So put that back to the original and now we can do the same thing for the last field. All I have to do is make a new field here I'll make that as a formula. What I'll often do for formula fields, if I don't know the formula just yet, but I want to build the field, I'll just put an empty string in there or a number or whatever it is as a placeholder just to get the field in place. Now I can go in here, copy. I'm just clicking here, Command A or Control A to copy everything. Uh, Command C to copy or Control C. Cancel is fine. I can pop in here, highlight all this, Command V or Control V to paste it in. And now I just change first to last in both places. And now we have both first and last names properly formatted, however they happen to come in. That's it for now. Remember to subscribe if you wanna see what's next and give this a like if you like. I'll see you next time.